Hi guys, welcome to my art channel, hope you're all doing well today. So what I'm doing today, it's, it's going to be part one um, of something that I have in mind. So this is just going to be the background, so I want all interference colours. So I want it very subtle to look sort of um, mother of pearly. So my first colour is TLP Lemon Sorbet, but I've made it paler than normal. I've, so I've put more, a lot more pouring medium in than I normally do, so it's a very pale lemon. I didn't want it to look too yellow to take over from what I have in mind. So it's a really pale lemon shift, lemony gold. So that's TLP Lemon Sorbet. Then we have TLP Brillet, which is an interference copper. TLP Comet, which is a red gold interference. TLP Rose Quartz, which is a interference red. A little bit thick. It's just Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. Sequins, let me have a look. Yeah, TLP sequins, which is interference violet. TLP twinkle, which is an interference blue purple, blue violet. And TLP Pinot Gris, which is interference green. So the order I've just shown you, I think, is the order I'm going to put them down. Starting from the centre, which is will be the lemon sorbet, then the brulee, maybe comet, then brulee. In rose quartz, sequins, twinkle, and pinot gris. And the canvas is a 20 inch, 50 centimeter round canvas. Uh, and I'm going to put some lemon sorbet in the center and then just rings of the other colors and then do a spiral swipe. I want the colours to blend but hopefully to still see them individually if that makes sense. I'm swiping with white so my cell activator is white, titanium white My mix of Atelier and Amsterdam equal parts with Australian Floetrol. Nothing else, no oils, no silicon, just paint and Australian Floetrol at approximately two to two and a half parts of Floetrol to one part of paint. Okay then. 
Now, I don't know whether it's all going to be in one video, this, or whether I will put it in two different, two separate parts. Um, I'll, we'll see. Okay, let's get messy. My base today is a mist tint. When they're mist tints, usually in Australia, they don't have a name on them. So it's um, just an off-white. So that is going to be my base today. Nothing else I did, just the paint straight from the can. Okay. So now I'm making my acrylic skin and I also use my, when I did the flower with the acrylic skins and it was all shades of pink, I use some of those as well for some contrast. So you'll see, when you see the piece you'll, you'll understand what I mean. So um, yeah, now you'll see me assembling it. Hi guys, okay so this is my tree that I've made out of skins. This is my background. Interference colours. And I've got to somehow <laughs> varnish the back of it and transfer it to there. And it's I've already varnished it once just um, to try and get them to obviously to stick together because they were all separate parts. And there are, there are a few little parts of dried varnish that I've been trying to cut off. It's, it's quite fiddly. Sonia Gloss Varnish. 
flip this over onto my, this is my cutting mat at the moment, flip it over onto this silicon mat and then hopefully attach it to that. because I can't wear gloves because I'll feel all fingers and thumbs. I'll just put it in here. So try and get it on as quickly as I can. It starts to dry. lot you know different time difference has been in between the first part of my video and this I'm just splicing them all together That little thing bit, I think, is curled over. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go. a bit more over that way but not moving it now it's kind of I can feel it sort of sticking already I think I'll try and move it I've had heaps of problems so it will just stay here Imagining it all getting all tangled up and not bad. That's not sticking there. I might have to 
cut that bit off, you'll see what it looks like. I think it's too thin to actually stick, and I'll, the way it's been left curing, it's I think it's dried like that anyway, so I think I'm going to have a hard time getting that to go actually flat.
thank you for sticking with me until the end. I know it's a longer video than usual, but as you can see, there were quite a few different steps involved in making this piece. And I hope you like it. Hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do with some acrylic skins. Um, yeah, so I just, as I say, I just use normal scissors, just sort of medium sized scissors, cut out all the different shapes of branches, then put them together kind of like a jigsaw on a, my silicon pour mat, varnished it so it, they all stuck together in the shape that I wanted when I was happy with it, and then everything else that you've seen the process that I've shown you today. So if you do like it, please hit that like button and if you haven't yet subscribed please do it's free and then you'll know when I put out a new video and you can hit the notification bell please share and any questions ask in the comment section below but all the details as always will be listed in the description box just click on the video title and that opens up and everything is listed in there. Links to the Shelley Art eCourse, links to fluid-art.co and my 15% discount code of the Shelley Art eCourse, where the pens were from, direct link to those. Yeah, everything's in there. So thanks again guys, thank you for all the lovely comments that you leave. Really do appreciate you all, thank you so much. And everybody take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.